Hi everyone, it's Marilyn here with a new mixed media layout tutorial for my creative scrapbook with the 2017 Ferrari limited edition kit. The kit this month is featuring the Allergy Collection by Scrapberry, a lot of awesome products from Prima Marketing and Blue Fern Studio. A lady from Germany asked me to create a page using a black and white photo and here it is. Okay, it is the paper that I choose and I'm going to use the small frame. I want to frame a little clock here, this one, because the photo, uh, this page is about uh, the mother's love that for me is 24 seven forever. And I'm going to trace uh, the frame on the paper with a pencil and then I'm going to cut out and glue it. Okay, I am covering uh, all the paper now with gel medium and I apply it with a brush, a one inch brush. And I'm going to explain why I choose uh, gel medium to prime uh, in a minute. Um, I'm just uh, spread all, all the gel medium and I want to be sure that it is covering all. Now I place the photo and make some marks with a pencil to know where the photo will be. Okay, I'm going to use the color bloom spray mist that comes in the kit and that uh, is the reason that I use uh, gel medium to prime the paper. Because if you press the nozzle too hard, you will not know how much paint will come out. Usually I make a mess. <laughs> But uh, if I cover the paper with gel medium, it's allowed me to remove the excess of paint with a paper towel, like you see uh, in the video now. If, if you spray direct to a paper that not has a gel medium or any prime, the paper absorbs the paint and it's hard to remove the paint when it's absorbed. That, that is why uh, I prefer uh, use gel medium with when I'm using uh, a mist. Okay, now I add textures with the stencil from the kit and modeling paste. I will work around all the previous dots that I made with the pencil to create uh, a design. I'm trying to make uh, here uh, like a circular shape circular shape not exactly that circular but something when I uh, it, this is the area when I'm going to place the photo okay at this moment I thought that uh, this stencil work was too big and I am removing uh, the modeling paste but you will see later that I will add again uh, because I saw that at this moment that it was too big. Okay, I will let you with music. Uh, meanwhile, I continue working with the with the modeling paste and the stencil. Now I realized that it was good, but I already removed the modeling paste, so I am adding more texture here with the stencil and modeling paste again. 
Okay, I will let you with music uh, meanwhile I continue working the area. Okay, I'm going to remove all the pieces now and I'm going to let it dry. Now I am paint uh, the piece of cheesecloth with uh, white acrylic paint and I'm going to dry it with the heat tool. Okay, now I'm fraying all the edges I cut in in two pieces and I'm continuing fraying all the borders. Okay, these are many pieces of, of images that I have already cut out from the different papers in these collections. And I made, I made two uh, paper dollies with a prima dye in, wa in white cardstock. I want to, to uh, these two dollies to make, uh, to match my photo. Here's my photo. This beautiful photo is from Olguita Moscoso and her two beautiful daughters. I went to Colombia two years ago. Well, it was my first time in Colombia two years ago, and Olguita attended one of my of one of my workshops there. I, I went to uh, give scrapbook classes and met her, and she uh, very lovely. Let me use the uh, her beautiful picture. I add now uh, a piece of paper that has a. Uh, like a trimming design and I cut out from one of the paper I added a piece of card on board uh, on the back because I want uh, to create dimensions uh, with the different uh, pieces that I cut from the paper now I'm going to use the staple to uh, to attach my doilies and I will continue to uh, place all the embellishment, the photo and all the pieces. Okay, here are more uh, pieces that I already cut out from the papers and I'm going to embellish my page using them. I give the distress in in the edges and I'm going to continue playing here until I like uh, how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to add the Blue Fern Studio flowers from the kit and the big uh, white 
flower that you will see is from Prima and the frame tone. I will continue playing with all the embellishment. Uh, now I am happy how everything is, is placed. So I'm going to add a glue to all the pieces. Okay, now I add the butterflies and I will uh, I will cover all the white edges in the butterfly with the with the marker. This is the artist pen big brush, and I just uh, trace the with the marker all the edges of the butterfly. I'm using a hot glue gun to adhere the butterflies because uh, when this uh, glue uh, it's dry, it's great like a dimension, if I said. I also use uh, the Distress Ink uh, for the other. <laughs> I think it, it is uh, easy for me uh, in that way, so I'm using the Distress Ink for the rest of, uh, of the butterfly. Now you see that I'm using my Sharpie marker to, uh, to enhance all the stencil design because you know that uh, I use the gray mist in the background. When I place everything, I look, uh, I don't know, I need that the background needs something because it was too gray for, my, for me. So I try to balance the page between the big white flower, the doilies, and the frame. So I add, uh, uh, I painted. I'm painting the the triggers in the stencil with the with my sharpie. This sharpie is always uh, water based, and it's is excellent to paint over uh, surface that I already has paint like. like is in this case so i will continue doing this around all the uh <coughs> all the area and now you see that i already painted everything and I'm, i am covering the photo because I i'm going to add a uh, white paint splatters to all the area this will give a whitish look that i love too much <laughs> So I'm going, uh, I am adding uh, white splatters all, all over the area. Now here I take a piece of this paper that you see that, <laughs> yeah, I already cut out the flowers from this paper on all the images. And I am using two gelatos with, uh, I am blending the gelatos with uh, paintbrush uh, and water and now uh, I use my finger too to blend the colors and I'm drying I'm using my Martha Stewart heart punch here because I want to add like a tiny heart in the background but it's a little difficult to pick up the this tiny heart so I'm going to I'm using the quick stick by we are to make this job and um, it's easier <laughs> with a quick stick tool so i'm uh, adhering all these tiny hearts in the background for me uh, i found better if i uh, add a tiny dot of glue on the paper and then put the heart and i will continue doing this
Okay, now I add more dimension on the background. So I'm using a pencil to trace all the stencil work. It looks uh, very dimensional after I uh, give the shade, the dark shade around the, the triggers. It's hard to see uh, the effect through the video or the photos, but in person it looks uh, fabulous. So we continue doing this uh, around all the stencil work. Okay, finally I'm going to add the title. I uh, work with the ABC from the kit and I'm using my teeth ruler to line up uh, the, the word love. I think I, I choose uh, this word because it's, it's perfect with this adorable photo. I made like an almost transparent line with a pencil here and I place uh, over the line uh, my title. Here is the final result. You can see in here uh, on the background that I added some pearls and some glass beads. And here is all the textures, all the layers and dimensions that I create in this page. I hope that you find some inspirations in, in this page. And like always, I will let you the link to get this beautiful kit in the description box below. I also let you the links to my social media uh, in case that you want to see more of my work. Uh, I hope that you like this video and if it is a uh, yes that you like it, please thumb up. Uh, any suggestion that you have for a future video, you can let me a comment below. And I hope you see you soon with another video tutorial. Así que nos vemos. Bye bye.